Good morning. I wanted to do a video to show you. We moved our chickens last night. So I wanted to show you the difference in where they were and where they are now. So that's where they were. You can tell they had some corn in there. So those are the stalks from that. But you can see where they've eaten the grass down. You can see kind of the perimeter. How much they've eaten. To where now, I turn the fence off. They're in this lush, thick part of the grass. You'll be amazed at how quickly they will eat this down. But there are tons of bugs and actually some old vegetables in here because this is where our garden was. We felled it that this year. So I'm already mowed it down yesterday. Super sad for me, but I recognize we over... Um, we had some lofty goals this year. Good morning, chicks. ladder down they're ready it's a little later than I normally like to put them out I'm gonna get them some treats from the kitchen last night was in there. Oh, green peppers, spinach. All this good grass just helps to make their eggs super healthy. And you can tell when an egg is super healthy by the color of its yolk. So these chickens' eggs have a super, um, or a darkish yellow, orange color. And the nesting boxes now, I'm putting those down. <laughs> There's already one ready to lay. Look at that. Or she might be running from the rooster. <laughs> so every night we close up the nesting boxes so they can't get in here at night because that's when they tend to use the bathroom and we don't want them using the bathroom in their nesting boxes so that our eggs are super clean. All right. There's Clyde. Hey, Clyde. And Eva. Good morning, Eva. Where's your baby? Where's your baby? We also caught our three wild chickens last night. We have some. Good morning, buddy. We have some chickens that hatched about the same time that Eva hatched her babies. Oh, there's her baby. And so they think they're turkeys and they follow these turkeys around all over. The problem with that is they're laying eggs around the farm. So we caught them all last night. We put them in the chicken tractors where our meat chickens were for a little while just to confine them. And we're going to move them into the egg mobile probably tonight. Let's see if they will stay in here. They seem happy. Well, that's Buddy. He's so loud. He likes to make himself known around here.
He's the best rooster ever. <laughs> There's another rooster. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. So we have one more rooster that just... He's a poult, so he's kind of a juvenile rooster. I'm not a poult, I'm sorry. He's a pullet, so he's kind of a teenager rooster. So he's just figuring out things here. But he's just started chasing the hens. And Buddy doesn't like that. These are his hens. So what you heard a minute ago was the juvenile rooster trying to get a hen. And Buddy came running after him. It's kind of funny to watch. There's always something going on. Guys, one of the black ones escaped yesterday and got out. I had to get him. I don't know if it was that one or which one it was. But we got her back in, so hopefully she'll stay in. Sometimes they'll get out accidentally. They'll just, if one of the other hens spooks them or whatever, or the rooster's chasing them, they might fly out by accident. And for some reason, they can't remember how to get back in. It's kind of funny. The netting is really for their protection. They would stay right here if we didn't have the netting because this is their safety place and this is where their food and water and everything is. So. Anyway, good morning from the farm. <laughs>